My dear Rebecca, I hope this finds you well. I write to offer an update and to ask your advice. Our brothers remain at odds. Klaus will never apologize, not for the blood he shed, nor the suffering Haley continues to endure. And Elijah cannot forgive him. Despite my efforts, we are a house divided. Which is not to say I have no good news. Klaus kept his word. Marcel controls the quarter. There he has founded a fight gym in the old St. Anne's Church where he tests the mettle of those who wish to join his vampire community. Elijah has begun joining him for sparring. I believe it helps him work through his anger. And he has much anger. While hope continues to flourish, it is clear that she misses her mother. Though Niklaus remains the doting father, he has been of no help in finding a cure for Haley's curse. Despite my best efforts, I've yet to find a means to undo the spell placed on her and the Crescent Wolves. And Haley herself continues to struggle, unable to see her child except for once a month on the full moon. And we're in no position to ask for outside help. Can you just hear me out? No. Which is don't do favors for vampires, including daylight rings. Those are the rules. An act of good faith will help keep the peace. The Ninth Ward Coven thinks I'm a vampire sympathizer. I won't prove them right. You're on your own. Davina's rage in our family has only grown. And as regent of all covens, she's far too formidable to be swayed. Meanwhile, Niklaus has begun to see Camille for what he calls their little chats. He claims a desire to amend his ways. In truth, he seems utterly free of remorse. Which only drives Elijah further away. I wonder if you would write me with any advice you have on how to heal their fractured bond. Until then, I remain your loving sister, Freya.